These are the eight tips that will improve your throwing skills. These are the tips that took my throwing from this to this. With that said, let's hop straight into it. You don't need a lot of pencils to do a realistic drawing. You can use two pencils and then from there build slowly a collection according to your needs and you have the financials to do so. Otherwise, use what you already have. I did this drawing with two pencils, a soft charcoal pencil and an HP pencil. The tools that I used was a blending stamp, a needed eraser and a brush. The brush and blending stamp could be replaced by a tissue or an earbud. So really, use what you already have. To improve your proportions when sketching, learn how to use drawing methods like the Loomis method. As you find your style with time, you can introduce other methods like the grid method or other methods which would suit your style. I love realism art and oftentimes I use the grid method. However, sometimes I do some realism art and for that I will use the Loomis method or just observation. I've already made a video talking about that in depth and the link is below. What makes a drawing realistic are the tonal values, not just the detailing really. To understand what tone you are working with, start shading the darker areas and the shadows and then use that as a reference for your overall tone. Follow the steps of artists that you admire, you can even copy their work. That gives you a chance to take a back seat at the artist's mind and experience at first hand how they create or draw. In that process, you learn a lot. Draw every day, even if it's just for 30 minutes, you will improve a lot. To improve your concentration period when drawing, check how much you can concentrate before taking a break using a stopwatch and a notebook where you can record that. And with every session that follows, try to beat that. Every time you draw, you improve a lot, you get better. All these artists that you admire, most of them have been drawing for more than 10 years. Be patient with yourself and celebrate every milestone. Frequently ask questions, especially when you feel stuck. You can write a comment on any of my videos, I reply to every comment, or send a DM on my Instagram. The link to my Instagram is on the captions below. I hope you found this very informative. Do give us a like so that YouTube can recommend this type of content to anybody who needs it. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.